Hello and welcome to MS Tech Hub. This is the continuation of validation series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the remote validation. Remote validation is basically used to to check the users already exist. This validation is used on the registration page of our of the website. Let's move to Visual Studio to perform remote validation. You must have need a, a API call which returns the which returns the true or false actually so first of all let's create a field email with the name of email and the ID email and rest we do not need these two fields let's move to the jQuery section in this section let's define a rule for email and we are making this field as required and we have to define the remote validation rule for that we have to pass two or more options and rest of these two rules we do not require and in the messages we are going to define later and here as a web service I have created the web service and in this web service I have defined and I am getting the data in this email parameter make sure that the name of the field should be same as we have given over here as email the name of the field because the data will become in the same name if your name is different then you have to pass the data explicitly so first of all we have to define the URL the URL is in my case I am having a web service 1.asmx slash check user my web method name make sure that uh, your API should return true or false as a plain text and the type you have to define the type should be post that's it check in the browser reload the page let's enter MS tech inspect element we are not getting anything so in this call we can check and we can see the the data is coming actually with the name of email the data payload and the data is coming with the same we have passed over here in the email input field so let's check why it is not working it is not working because uh, I am having the web service which is returning the JSON data because the web service 1.asmx if I am going to check my web service my web service ms tech invoke the function my web service is returning true or false in the XML form so I need to parse this for this I have to pass a new filter it is the filter actually we are adding the filter it is the callback function which is receiving the same data what we are passing from the web API or your web method in my case because I am having the problem my API or oh sorry web method is returning the data in XML and the remote method does not require this 
remote method is required only true or false we have to return so for that I have to parse this XML data and dollar dot parse XML data now I have to find the node the node what what I am having over here in the XML with the name of boolean so let's find if in your case the API or a function is returning direct the boolean or li direct the text like true or false then you do not require to perform this ac this code actually in my case the web method is returning the XML that is why I am adding this additional code in your case if your API is returning something else or an XML or a JSON which is not returning directly true then you also have to add this code and change accordingly just return the text only so what I am doing over here I am just parsing the data and finding the boolean element and then on this element I am just returning the text only so for that the remote validation is returning the text only let's save the changes reload the page let's enter an email ID what is already exist actually in my case I am just checking the data from the XML file so you can make the call in from the database or any any of the source you want so I am having this XML file from where I am just reading the data all the emails what those are exist so I am just entering this email and click outside of the box so it is saying that please fix this field means this is the default message and also I want to change this message also I want to just say that Raman at the rate gmail.com is already exists to change the error message I need to change the message in here so first of all I have to define the field for which I am going to change the message and then I have to define the message for remote for this I am just writing the message on validator dot format in here I am just defining that first of all I have to get the data at this location from the input field the data what I am having in the input field is already exists that's it save the changes reload the page type Raman at the rate gmail.com what it is saying now it is saying Raman is already exists so we have successfully changed the message also so if we change the name Raman to Raman 1 and click outside so it the form has been succeed that's it in this video thanks for watching